today's video, I bought the oldest and newest Five Nights at Freddy's plushies to put them to the test of what's truly better. The oldest FNAF merch or the newest FNAF merch. And then giving them away at the end of this video. So let's get right into it. So, Shadow Freddy, what is the oldest FNAF merch you got for us? We got, oh, the oldest Five Nights at Freddy's plushies ever made. These are the classic Five Nights at Freddy's Sanchi plushies, released all the way back in 2015. Technically, the very first pieces of Five Nights at Freddy's merch ever created. And for being the very first FNAF plushies ever made, these are some of the best Five Nights at Freddy's plushies ever made. I mean, they look like they're exactly from the game. The Freddy plushie looks incredibly accurate with really cool eyes, a top hat, a bow tie, and really nice body. Bonnie has his iconic floppy ears, his giant silly grin, his nice blue bow tie, and his perfect body. Funny color. Chica looks so good, having a magnetic cupcake plush, a giant let's eat bib, perfect Chica eyes, and a nice Chica beak, and Foxy looks incredible just like he does in FNAF 4 with his big foxy ears and side floofs, a perfect snout and eye and eye patch. I mean, these plushies are just incredible, especially for being the very first wave of Five Nights at Freddy's plushies ever released, but they're also extremely expensive, being worth hundreds of dollars now. So for being the first line of FNAF plush, I mean, they have to get better after this, right? So Let's go check out the next wave of FNAF plush from 2016. Whoa! So the next line of FNAF merch we have are from Funko, and these plushies are a little worse, but they're a lot cheaper. The original Sanchis were about $40 for each plush, and these Funko ones are only $10 for, of, you know, for each plush. So the classic Freddy plush, he looks pretty good, but not as good as the Sanchi. His face can look a little wonky, and his hat's almost falling apart a little bit, but he definitely looks like Freddy. Bonnie looks really good, and probably the most accurate one. His eyes look really nice, I love his ears, his snout looks really good, and he even has a fluffy little bunny tail that the original Sanchi plush didn't. And then Chica, oh, this is where it already starts getting bad. Chica's eyes and entire head looks gross. Her beak looks really bad. She has ugly eyebrows and this weird thing on the top of her head. Her bib's really small, and she doesn't even have a cupcake plush. I mean, this Chica is just so much worse than the original Sanchi Chica. But Foxy looks really good and extremely accurate with nice eye, ears, side fluffs, eye patch, and everything. He's a really nice looking Foxy plush. But so far, it looks like the original Sanchi plushies are currently beating these ones so for the best FNAF merch ever made. So let's go check out the next line of FNAF merch wave two of Funko and see if those are better than wave one. So Shadow Freddy, what's the next wave of FNAF merch we have? We got, oh, bow legs. Oh my God, these are disgusting, but surprisingly really old, almost the next FNAF merch. Ugly boot like Freddy, disgusting boot like Bonnie, Boot like, ugh, Chica, and awful boot like Foxy. I don't want to keep these or review these. Ugh, you guys know what we have to do to these evil FNAF boot likes to honestly destroy them all. So, you disgusting evil boot likes, you shall pay the price for the worst crime imaginable being ugly and being boot likes. I can't even stand to look at you. Your fate and demise shall begin. Now! Man, Shadow Freddy, things sure did get a little hot back there with those bootlegs. So let's see the next FNAF merch we have from like old. So, oh, wave two FNAF plushies. Toy Freddy's technically wave one, Toy Bonnie, Toy Chica, and Mangle. And wow, I gotta say, I know this sounds crazy, but I, I like these plushies more than the wave one plushies. Yes! Even Toy Bonnie, I'm not sure why. Toy Freddy just looks like a better version of Freddy with better colors, rosy cheeks, a nicer hat, buttons on the chest. He's just an improved version of Freddy. Toy Bonnie, now I know it's controversial, most people don't like him, but I love, I've grown to love his big goofy ears and his silly eyes and his silly teeth and his nice looking body and his funny head shape. He's really funny, but I really enjoy him. Toy Chica is way obviously better than the classic Wave 1 Chica with incredible looking eyes, beak, cheek, let's, let's party things, little toes and everything. She's better than the original 
traditional chica in every single way possible. And I gotta be honest, I like the mango plush more than the classic foxy plush. Her eyes look better, I love her mango teeth, her broken endo arms, her lips, her ears, her tufts, the little embroidering on her legs. I think she looks so much better than the wave one foxy plush. So do I think these plushies are better than Sanchi's though? Sadly, I don't. So the wave one Sanchi plush still hold the championship for the best FNAF merch ever made. Now let's go check out the next wave of FNAF plush. So next up, what? Shadow Freddy, get out of here. Where's the next plushies we have? We, oh God, oh, oh, they're so ugly. Next up, we have some of the, uh, the ugliest waves ever made, and I don't think I need to even explain it. This is the Twisted Ones plushie wave, with some of the most disgusting FNAF plushies I've ever seen. Twisted Freddy is awful, with a body covered in printing, a giant gaping ugly mouth, and just being a lame character. Who wants a Twisted Freddy plush when we never even got Nightmare Fredbear, or the fan- Ums or the withers. He's so lame. I just ugh, he's disgusting. I hate him. Twisted Bonnie's god awful ugly. He has giant printed ears, a massive ugly mouth with a weird looking snout, ugly designs all over his body. He's just disgusting. Twisted Chica is should be called Twisted Toy Chica because that's what she's based off. You can see she has the Toy Chica beak and the Toy Chica toes, but nothing will save her. She has this ugly cupcake on the side of her head. Massive eyes. Why did why they give her anime eyes? She should not have this uh, ugly little tuft on the top of her head. And printing that goes nowhere. Like, half her arms are printed that lead into nothing. She's disgusting. And Twisted Foxy is the best of the four. But that's not saying much. His entire mouth is covered in printing. He has massive ugly gums, face, little hook, and everything. Ugh! These are so ugly. These are easily the worst wave of FNAF merch we've reviewed so far. Let's hope that Funko steps it up and improves their next wave of FNAF merch. Let's go check it out. Next up, we... Darn it, Shadow Freddy, get out of here. You're always messing it up. Next up, we... Oh, no. It does not get better. Oh. Oh. The security breach wave is even worse. Glamrock Freddy's all right. I would say he's better than Twisted Freddy, but that's not saying much. He looks barely like Glamrock Freddy, missing so many of his details, like his shoulder pads, wrist things. Uh, his bow tie and his chest just look awfully ugly. His entire face is printed. He's just not a good plush. This doesn't look like Glamrock Freddy. Look at his face. It's so ugly. Vanny. Ugh! One of, if not the worst FNAF plushies ever made, giant ugly eyes, a big egg head, stupid dumb printing, wrong colors everywhere. This is meant to look like Vanny. It's awful. Glamour Chica is not that bad, I don't think. She has a nice, like, Toy Chica base, but it makes sense because she's Glamour Chica. A nice beak, nice eyes. It's all right. I don't like the printing all over her, but she's not that bad of a plush. And, ew! Roxanne Wolf with weird eyes. What? Why are they just on this white bulge? You can see your eyes and there. What's the point of that? Gross hair that's literally just a bad piece of fabric. Ugly ears. A face that doesn't look like her. A bad snout. Printing all over. A disgusting wave. So far, Funko's made two disgusting waves of FNAF plushies. And I really hope that maybe we can get a better one than these because the Twisted Ones and Security Beats are awful. Let's just check out the next wave and hope it's better. But so far, the OG plushies are winning against the new plushies. So for the next Shadow Freddy, you're always ruining it! Gah, get out of here, boy! Next up we have, oh, the FNAF AR wave of plushies, which actually gets better. Now, are these as good as the wave one or wave two Funko plushies? No. But are these still good plushies? Yes, honestly, I like these. VR Toy Freddy looks really nice with so many details. They're made of this weird metallic material because that's how they look in the game. He has a really nice visor, a cool top hat. I love the detail they made all around him to look like he's glowing. The colors on him just look so good. The embroidery on his face and arms, he does have printing on his chest, but it's not that noticeable because the rest of him is embroidered, and the way they made his VR popping out of his head just looks so good. System Air Toy Bonnie, I won't lie, this is a thousand times better than the Wave 2 Toy Bonnie plushie. They just improved his design so much, with a much better looking Toy Bonnie head, amazing looking embroidery on his eyes and face, actually looking like Toy Bonnie. The ears are a little bit small, that could definitely be improved, but everything else, his body that says System Air is printed, but I understand why. Everything else is embroidered, and he has these wonderful lines all around him. Again, to make him look like he's glowing, he looks really great. High score Toy Chica looks very similar to Toy Chica, but she also looks really good. I love her eyes and her beak and her Toy Chica shaped head. Her arms look really good with these pixels all over them, even though they're printing, and the glowing effect they put around her too. With a stitched on high score Toy Chica bib, it looks really good, and again, just a very nice plush. And Radioactive Foxy does not look better than Mangle, but he's still such a cool design. I love the yellow outlines around him, his empty eye, his really cool nose, amazing printing on his chest. It just looks so good. A really cool 
cool looking hook and everything. I'm these plushies are great. These are so much better than the last two waves, and honestly, it makes me hopeful that maybe Funko can make better plushies. So after this, let's hope the next wave gets even better. Let's check it out. Oh, oh no! Oh, it doesn't get better after the AR wave. Oh, they're so ugly. Oh, they just ruined all the wave one plushies besides Chica. She looks better, but they ruined all of them. Freddy looks weird. He looks like more sloppy. His face looks more sloppy. His eyes, I, I don't like the eyelids. He just, he looks a lot less like Freddy. C compared to the wave one Funko Freddy plush, like the body's the same, but the head just looks more sloppy. Not like Freddy to me. Bonnie is disgusting. Look at these gross eyes. Why are they so far apart? Why is his face so flat? The ears are weird and tiny now. The body stayed the same, but the face, it just, the muzzle is bad. The eyes are bad. It's disgusting. Chica is the only good one that does look a lot better. Her eyes look better her face shape looks better her beak looks better but that's it the bib does not look better it feels a lot cheaper i do like how she has actual toes now so this is the only good one. Oh no and oh foxy is the worst one what did they do to him his face looks so disgusting all his features are so close together and they gave him a giant forehead his eye looks bad like poking out like that they gave him really weird eyebrows which i'm not a fan of his eye patch is so tiny his snout has been shrunken down and twice as fat so it's really fat and wide now and it's really short in and i hate that the teeth of course the embroidering looks worse the little tufts on the side of his head are so tiny now his head is a giant round ball his ears are just awful i hate what they did to his ears and he has a dumb hook he should not have a hook it doesn't look good on the plush he doesn't work and his stomach goes all the way up to his neck there's no line or anything Ugh. These plushies are awful. We're almost at the end of the Funko plush waves, so please tell me they get better. Shadow Freddy, let's see the next wave. Wait! Oh! <laughs> I hate these plushies. I hate them so much. It doesn't get better, guys. It doesn't get better. These Christmas plushies are awful awful because after christmas time it's february no one wants christmas plushies and they are disgusting i hate them so much freddy looks even worse with awful eye rings around his eyes his eyes don't puff out anymore disgusting eyebrows rosy cheeks like he's toy freddy a really weird colored nose i know that's for christmas and awful ears that just look really bad a body that is one 100% printed. There is not a single piece of real fabric on here. Every single piece of fabric here is printed. A bow tie that doesn't look good. I hate the printing on him. He's awful. They ruined his face. He looked to used to look so beautiful. And now he doesn't. Ah! Disgusting. Bonnie is also awful. Ruined his ears. Made them long and pointing with printing. Oh, wow. I love when they cheap out on the ears. Disgusting eye rings again. Stop giving them eye rings. They don't look good. Get these little rings around their eyes out of here. Eyes that look awful and don't poke out. Cheeks like he's toy Bonnie or something. And a gross muzzle. Go back to the wave one Bonnie muzzle. Not this gross muzzle. And the body is awful. These giant boots take up half his legs that look awful. I don't like the material. The material works for AR and Phantom Foxy, but not for this plush. I hate the fluffies around his around his things. They look awful. He's so ugly. It's all printed. Ugh. I hate him too. He's disgusting. Snowman Chica. Ugh. This doesn't even look like Chica. If you're not a hardcore FNAF fan and you saw this sh sitting on the shelf. You would not think this is Chica. You would think this is like a Star Wars character or something. I hate her eyes. She looks ugly. The beak is now printed and looks really gross. They, you know, because Toy Chica was such a good plush that they tried to make it better and kept using the Toy Chica beak and it doesn't. I hate the fluff everywhere. It looks bad. The hat is completely printed and not even filled in. They got so lazy they can't even stuff the hat anymore. It's disgusting. I hate this scarf. It's a super thin little piece of fabric. The embroidered buttons are alright and these arms are just awful. And they gave her a yacht. Why? Why does this plush- No! I can't stand it! I thought the- Oh no, they ruined him! Oh, he looks so ugly! Again, they gave him the ugly ears. His eyes don't pop out! More eye rings! I love when the eyelid is under the eye rings. It doesn't make sense. And they put eye rings around his eye patch! Like his body is fused to his eye patch. It's so awful, I hate it. His snout is a little bit longer than tie-dye foxes, but not enough like wave on foxes. His little- side flutes don't puff out anymore so his head's just a giant circle he looks sad he looks confused why are his teeth right next to each other like spongebob teeth he has a gross candy cane hook this doesn't look like a hook it looks awful again his belly goes all the way up to his neck it doesn't round off like it used to it's awful at least there's no printing on this plush which i appreciate and they give him different colored pants but i can't stand it this is awful that's sadly it that's the most recent wave of funko plush we have but there's a spin-off wave of funko plushies that somehow get even worse let's go check him out but right now the og sanchi plush are still winning the best plush ever made oh shadow freddy i don't know if i'm ready for this all right let's take a look oh, i'm no I refuse to review these. Do you see this? This might be the ugliest thing Funko has 
ever made. It feels gross, it looks gross, it is gross, and it's the same price of a normal, of a normal Funko plush. Think about it, back in the day, you could have gotten a classic Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica for $30, because it's $10 each plush. And now you can get these three ugly things for $30. These are, I, no, uh, 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 I just, oh, I hate them. All right, let's go check out the next companies, because a few different companies made FNAF work after Funko, and hopefully they get better. So, Shadow Freddy, what's the next one we got? Yes! Finally! Good looking plushies! I know many people aren't fans of the Hex plushies, but compared to all the slop Funko's been pumping out recently, these are incredible. I got the sitting ones because the magnets fall apart really easy, but they look so good! I love the button eyes and the little details and a silly top hat and how fluffy and fuzzy they are. Finally, a new material. Freddy's little microphone and his nice little thing. Oh, and now he looks stitched together. And he even has toe claws. And he's embroidering on his hands and, and different claws. Now, I know these are very different from the Sanchi and Funko plushies. And do I think that these are better than the Sanchi plush? I gotta be honest, no. But do I think that these are really, really good? Yes. These are about the same price as the Sanchi plushies, if not a little more expensive. But do I think they're worth it? They are so worth it. They're so much better than any of the Funko plush. He has real buttons on there, not embroidered or printed on like Freddy. I mean, like, Funko, oh, they look so good. Bonnie looks incredible, his ears look normal, zero printing, lovely buns, a nice snout with little bunny teeth and little bunny whiskers, actual buns on him, a nice little guitar that is printed, but it's understandable, cute little toes and feet, he looks so good, and Chica looks so good. This Chica is so much better than the Wave 1 Funko plush, it's incredible. She has better eyes, better little tufts on the top of her head, a nice looking beak, a removable bib that's really cool, nice detailed toes, look at these toes, they look so good, look at the detail on this, and Mr. Cupcake with his own little button eyes. Oh my goodness, he looks so cute. I love him. And Foxy. Oh. Oh. Um. These three plushies are really good. No, not Foxy. They should not have made his mouth open. I think it makes him look very silly. None of these guys have open mouths. They should have done something like this, or something like that would have looked better. Uh, it makes him look really goofy. His side floofs aren't side floofs. It is a piece of fabric that is meant to look like it, which I think is really lazy and really cheap. It, the mouth, oh, I can't get over it. It just doesn't look good. It makes him re look really goofy. He looks so goofy. Like, look at these guys. These look like incredible plushies, almost like the FNAF 4 plushies in the bedroom minigame. And then this guy, oh, his ears don't look great. The tusks on the top of his head are so tiny you don't even notice it. The eye patch is wonky. The eyebrows are really hard to see. The mouth and side fluffs are awful. The body looks great. This is a wonderful body. If you cut off the head like the FNAF 4 mini games, it would look really good. I love I love the material they used on this, it looks so good. His pirate pants, his hook, his details, his withering and everything, but that head could use a lot of improvement. So let's go check out the next company that tried to make the FNAF plush and see if they did it better than Sanchi, because so far no one has beat the Wave 1 Sanchi plush. Let's check out. So, oh, ooh. I gotta be honest, I love YouTube. They're a wonderful company, they're super nice to me. They make incredible figures. But they struggle with their plushies. And I gotta say, from all the classic plush, we have the Sanchi with the four classics, Funko with the four classics, and Hexa with the four classics. These are by far the worst. Freddy is not that bad, being a sitting version of the Freddy plush. I like the material they used on him. It's very high quality. It's all embroidered really nicely. And it's it's too stylized to look good. The muzzle snout on him is so tiny that it is just a itty bitty little circle which does not look good you look at any freddy fazbear that's not what he looks like look at shadow freddy see how the muzzle goes across his entire face that's what it should look like if it went all the way across instead it's a tiny little circle that does not look good and does not look like freddy and freddy is the best of these next up is bonnie Oh god, Bonnie. The standing versions. I can't- I can't stand how ugly the standing versions are. It's so basic. I mean, it looks alright, but the head. Oh no, the head. So they give him the tiny little muzzle. It should go all the way across his face like classic Bonnie looks. Not this tiny little baby thing. It doesn't look good. The eyes look definitely wonky with the U2's design, or it's just a giant black circle with the U2's thing. The ears are so ugly. I know they're folded in to look good, but they're so big and fat and round and not long enough, and this weird design, they just look so ugly. And the muzzle. I can't get over. The only one it looks good on is Chica because that's the shape of her beak. It's round and small. Imagine if all of them had these weird little shapes. Her eyes also look weird. I don't know why they give her these weird little eyelash things. It doesn't look good. The tufts on the top of her head are just not accurate at all. This is not what Chica's head tufts look like. It's like four little awkward ones sprouting out. The bib is alright, but it feels kind of cheap. And it's just the standing. The toes. They go down past your feet instead of sticking out. And this is printed too. It's just, oh, it's not great looking. 
Oh no. Foxy's been really struggling re recently. He was struggling with Hex, and this Foxy is, oh, he's so ugly. First of all, why is his eye a different shape than the others? The embroidered eyebrows, the embroidered eye patch is not good looking. Is that printing on the ears? No, it's not printing. But the head floofs and the ears don't look good. And again, the tiny little shape face. Why not make it go all the way across his face like it normally does? Or at least make it a little bigger. It doesn't look good. The side floofs are basically not there. You get two tiny little triangles. And ugh! What is this? Why did they decide that a fuzzy chest was the right way to go? This is disgusting. And it's not even attached to him. You can see it floating up. This is one of the grossest things I've ever seen on a plush. This fluffy chest is disgusting and isn't even accurate. His hands are all printed. A tiny gross little hook that's also printed. The pants aren't bad. I like the 3D pants, but printed legs and a tail, which should not be there. Foxy doesn't have a tail, so I don't know why they gave him one, and it's also printed. These, this is the worst Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy any company has ever made. But we have two more waves left, so let's see if the new Gen Plush can beat the old Gen Plush. We have the final plush, let's go check them out. Whoa! The brand new Security Breach Sanchi plushies? I'm not reviewing these ones, I'm giving them away. I'm giving away the full set, but there's gonna be four winners, so you can choose if you would like a Glamrock Freddy, a Montgomery Gator, a Glamrock Chica, or a Roxanne Wolf. Because I've been talking about how good Sanchi is in this video, I absolutely love their brand new wave of Security Breach plushies. They look so accurate, so nice, so lovely. So if you guys would like to win this, there's three simple steps to enter into the giveaway. All you gotta do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment saying you finished all three steps and what you personally think the best wave of FNAF plush. Do you like the old wave, the OG with the Sanchis, or the new waves of FNAF plush? Let me know, and I will be giving these away because I've been hyping up Sanchi the entire video. I thought it was fitting to give away the Sanchi plush. And now, let's look at the very final wave of FNAF plushies of the new gen plush and see if they're better than the old gen. Let's check it out. What the? Uh, Shadow Freddy, where is it? Where's the final plushies? Oh, they're... Oh, the final plush we have are the X Smart Withered plushies. And while these technically aren't official, I had to bring these up because these may be some of the best FNAF plushies ever made. Are they better than the OG Sanchi line? No. Are they better than the Wave 1 Funko line? Possibly. If you guys really think, if you guys like them more, they could be. Are they better than the Wave 1 Hex line? They possibly could be if you guys prefer these better. Are they better than the Wave 1 YouTube's line? Definitely. So, oh, they just look so good. I'm in love with them. First of all, we have the Withered Freddy plush, who looks incredible, especially since no other company has ever made a Withered plush ever. It's so great to see these. Well, Hex did, but I mean, Funko never has. So, we have the incredible Withered Freddy with one black to eye and one normal eye that are puffing out a little bit and no gross eye rings. Really nice nice eyebrows and ears which look wonderful and a super detailed body wonderful buttons really nice endos and wires poking out everywhere he's an incredibly accurate plush with accurate colors zero ounce of printing which is incredible and next up we have withered bonnie the most impressive plush out of all four because his design is so complicated incredible looking ears that funko can't get right funko can never get bonnie's ears right but i think these look incredible with actual embroidering and different colors on the ears while making them segmented they look so good his face is insane can you imagine chopping off the face of a plush and trying to make it look good well this one does because his teeth look so good i love the way his jaw pops out the endo eyes and the endoskeleton head look so good with two rows of teeth zero ounces of printing. If this was Funko, they would take a normal Bonnie plush and just make his face like a black printing and call that withered Bonnie and stick some teeth on it. But no, this looks incredible. They gave him so many wires hanging down, which looks so good, and an amazing body. They gave him the metallic arm and the metallic leg to look just like Funko does. Wires sticking out, actual buttons embroidered, and a hole missing arm that has wires sticking out. It's incredible. Withered Chica, Funko struggles really hard with making a good Chica plush, but this Chica plush looks incredible. Nice floofs on the top of her head and a really accurate looking Chica thing. She has a giant beak, which she should, and it's really hard to make her head sticking out in two, but Xmart did it with incredible embroidered teeth and embroidered uh, like wires and a giant black bar to make it look like her head is missing. Wonderful looking arms with wires sticking out on both sides and little embroidering on every single side. Nice metallic toes that look like toy chica toes and a let's eat bib. She is incredible. And with her foxy who looks so good with so much detail. A metallic endo ear. Nice embroidering all the way around on this giant patch. Actual sticking out eyes with an eye patch that's, you know, popping out and no eye rings. Really nice looking snout that actually sticks out it could stick out a little farther but it still looks really nice nice little like his side floofs actually stick out so much embroidery on his torso look at all the detail embroidery all the way through his torso going all the way around him incredible looking pants and little embroidered shiny feet i think that these may be one of the best FNAF plushies so to answer the question what's the best wave i gotta be honest it's the wave one sanji wave they were the very first FNAF plush ever made and so far no one has topped them not this not the fungal wave not the hex wave definitely not the YouTube wave They're 
there's been nothing to beat those plushies. Maybe one day in the future we'll get some better FNAF plush, but for now, those are still the best FNAF plush ever made. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to enter in all three steps, and if you enjoyed this one, maybe watch another video, and I will see you all later. Good.